Welcome to Sonic Wall Video Solutions. My name is Kritika Nakshatri. Today, we will demonstrate how to configure an interface in transparent mode. To configure an interface in transparent mode, we need to first configure the WAN primary interface, create an address object for the WAN subnet provided by the ISP, set up the transparent mode on the interface required. For demonstration, we are using a SonicWorld TZ205 with the firmware version 5.9.0.4, which is our latest release. Moving to the configuration part, click on the Network tab, Interfaces. We currently have the X1 interface set up as WAN with the IP address 223.228.190.210 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.248 which gives us six usable IP addresses. Out of the six IP addresses, we have the 209 assigned as the default gateway for the X1 interface and the 210 assigned as the X1 IP address. This leaves us with four usable IP addresses which we can use for a transparent mode interface. For demonstration purpose, we will use the interface X4 and configure it in a transparent mode. Before we set this up, we need to create an address object with the usable IPs. Click on the Address Objects option. Choose Custom Address Objects. Click on Add. You can name this as per your requirement. For demonstration, we call it DMZ Public Range. Zone assignment needs to be DMZ. Type will be range. Starting IP is 223.228.190.211 and the end IP is 214. Click on Add. Go back to the Network Interfaces tab. Click on the Configure option for the X4 interface. Select the zone as DMZ mode will be transparent IP mode. Choose the address object that we just created, DMZ public range. You can add a comment if required. Management settings can be enabled if required. Click on OK to save the settings. We now have the X4 interface set up as a DMZ. It will reflect the IP from the WAN interface. Now. You can connect servers to the X4 interface, assign the public IP from the DMZ range that we have provided directly on the server and you should be able to access that server from outside as well as the server will be able to go online using the X4 gateway. The gateway on the server again needs to be the X1 default gateway which is the 209 IP address in this case. This brings us to an end of this video on how to configure an interface in transparent mode.